Welcome to the EPISD Digital Discoveries, exploring the world of education technology in the El Paso Independent School District. Hi, I'm Tim Holt. I'm the Director of Instructional Technology with the El Paso Independent School District, and I want to welcome you to EPISD's Digital Discovery, where we take a look at all things that have to do with education technology, and hopefully through the course of these uh, shows, we'll teach you something and, and send you to some places that you didn't know existed. And so uh, I hope you're ready to go for a, a really neat ride. Uh, today we're going to be looking at something called Atomic Learning, which is a service that's available to uh, every single one of the members of our EPISD family. So all of our employees have access to Atomic Learning as well as all of our students and their families. And so that's a really neat service that we're going to talk about today. We're also going to look at blogs that have to do with education. And we're going to look at blogs for elementary teachers, middle school teachers, high school teachers, administrators, and then kind of a general interest blog as well. And then finally today we're going to end up looking at something called iTunes University, which is a free service that actually allows you to take online university courses without ever leaving your home. So if you're ready to join me, I hope you are, we're going to start looking at atomic learning. So what is atomic learning? Atomic learning is an online um, professional development. And for people that uh, aren't in education, they may not know what professional development is. But what it is is online courses that are available to anybody to teach them things about technology. And what's neat about atomic learning is that you don't have to sit and wait for long periods of time in order to uh, in order to see these things. They're very short. They're very concise two, three minutes at a time. So if you want to learn something about, say, Microsoft Word, uh, you don't have to sit through an hour-long Microsoft Word training. All you have to do is log on to Atomic Learning. You can watch a two or three minute uh, video uh, screencast, is what they're called, that actually shows you exactly what you want to know. You don't have to, f you don't have to look through things that you don't want to know. So let's log in and, um, and see how to actually do this. Okay, when you log in to Atomic Learning, this screen comes up. And you look at it and you think, oh, this is overwhelming. I have no idea where to start. I kind of like to start right here in the center where it says Browse Available Trainings and Projects. I hope everybody can see that right there. It says Browse Available Trainings and Projects. The reason I like that is because everything is kind of right there. So let's pretend that I'm a student and I have, to, uh, I have to type up something in Microsoft Word, but I'm not really familiar with Microsoft Word. What I can do is I click right there in Applications, and there are hundreds and hundreds of applications with tutorials here in, my, in a Atomic Learning. So, so you can see I'm just scrolling down really, really fast here, but you can see there's literally hundreds of programs that, uh, that teach you how to, to do something. And so I'm going to type in Word. I would just uh, type in the word word here. Whoops. And let's see what happens. I'm going to find tutorials. And in a couple of seconds, something's going to pop up and it gives me applications. That means the name of the program. So you can see here that there's a whole bunch of different word programs. And the reason is over the course of the years, there's been a lot of different versions of word. So depending on the computer that you have, um, it depends on the version of Microsoft Word that you might be using. So let's say, for instance, that I have a, a pretty new version of Word, uh, Word 2010. So I click on that, and you can see that uh, another little drop-down menu opens up, and it's got intermediate training, advanced training, and introductory trainings. On the, to the right of that, it sh has a number called 86, and if you look up above, that's actually the tutorial count. So in the introductory training for application, the word 2010, for PC, by the way, it actually even tells you if you're on a PC or a Mac. It tells you if there's, 80, there's 86 uh, tutorials. Now, you say to yourself, oh, that's just uh, too many trainings. There's, there's way too many trainings here. There's 86. I can't possibly do 86 trainings. But what's really cool about this is that there's 86 trainings that take up about 2 hours and 51 minutes. So they're very, very short. So I'm going to click on that intro training. And what will happen is uh, it will come up with um, an example. Uh, these are all the tutorials that are 
in uh, Microsoft Word in the introductory trainings. But if you look, it's really cool. Let's look at this very first one. Introducing the new Office 2010 ribbon. The length is a minute and 28 seconds. It's very, very short. They're very, very short. So let's just click on it and see what happens. Introduced in Office 2007, the ribbon is still very much a part of Office 2010 and now appears in all of the Microsoft Office applications, including Outlook. In this example, the ribbon for Office 2007 appears at the top of the screen and the ribbon for Office 2010 appears toward the bottom of the screen. The default blue color scheme used in Office 2007 has been replaced in Office 2010 with a more neutral silver theme. So you get the idea. They actually, they're talking here about the company of Microsoft Office and Microsoft Word. Um, but these are very short tutorials. You can sit there and this is only like a minute and a, and a half long. Um, so why would anyone want to be using atomic learning? What are some possible uses for atomic learning? One of the things that we could do as, as our, our parents in our community or uh, you could actually use atomic learning to train yourself to learn a new technology computer skill. So say for instance you're not familiar with Microsoft Office. There's trainings online that you can watch and they'll teach you how to use Microsoft Office. Uh, students, if you have a, a website that's uh, of interest to you, for instance, uh, Delicious, which is a social bookmarking website, there are trainings on atomic learning that, that teach you how to use that. And so this, um, this service this is, is free to our entire community. Everybody can use it, all of our teachers, all of our students, all the parents, every employee in EPISD has an account for atomic learning. And just to leave you with a final thought, this is a great way to introduce yourself to online training.